Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, The Unexpected Journey. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God had showed thee all things, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. Genesis 41, 39 through to 41. We all have our plans in life. Many of us have the schools we want to go to, the college or the university. How old we want to be when we get married, the type of man, the type of woman. Even how many kids we want. Yes, many of us make our plans as to where we want to go in life and how we want to get there. However, life has a way of sending us on some unexpected journeys. Things that we never planned, things that we never hoped for, just happens. And when it does, it changes the course of your life. You can spend years building a business, building a family, building relationships, and you can lose it all in less than one minute. Sometimes when we find ourselves in these unfortunate situations, we wonder, how did I get here? How did I lose my job? How did I lose my family? How did I lose my reputation? If we are not careful, there are many of us who will never recover after going in a direction that you never planned for. One of the mistakes that we often make is to believe that everything negative or bad that happens is of the devil, but then everything good that happens is of God. We need to be reminded that God goes by the counsel of his own will, and he is also the greatest strategist that you can ever find. Joseph's life is one that took a very unexpected journey. As we've seen, Joseph was prized by his father. It's bad enough that Joseph's father was giving him preferential treatment over his brothers, but Joseph only made it worse by speaking of the dreams that the Lord gave to him. The Bible says that the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. There are times when God reveals things to you. You've got to just keep it to yourself. Because little do you know that your very sibling just might be a dream killer. One day, without any warning, Joseph's life took a very unfortunate turn. He was thrown into a pit, sold into slavery. Yes, the man that was the pride of his father was now a slave. He was accused by his master's wife, then thrown into prison. Ah, it seems sometimes that when things get bad, instead of getting better, it just gets worse. Now, all of this might have seemed like just bad luck. It might seem, as we would say in Jamaica, Joseph was sought. But as I told you earlier, that God is the greatest strategist that you can ever find. As unfortunate as it was, God set in motion a series of events that would ultimately cause Joseph to be a savior. If Joseph wasn't thrown in the pit, he would have not been sold into slavery. If Joseph wasn't sold into slavery, he would have not gone into Potiphar's house. If he had not gone into Potiphar's house, he would have not been accused and sent to prison. If he had not gone into prison, then he would have not met the cupbearer. If he had not met the cupbearer, then he wouldn't have gotten the chance to stand before Pharaoh. If he didn't get to stand before Pharaoh, then he wouldn't ultimately get to save his people from the famine. Ah, can I tell you that God is in control of your life? There are unfortunate things that might happen, things that make you cringe when you think about it, things that cause you so much hurt, that cause you so much pain, things that cause so many bad memories, things that make you want to just crawl up and die. But I want you to have a different outlook instead of looking at it that this bad was just of the devil. Understand it was God who was strategically working out his master plan for your life. Yes, Joseph's brothers who wanted to kill him did not know that he was their savior. Potiphar's wife who accused Joseph would later become his mother-in-law because Pharaoh gave Potiphar's daughter to Joseph as wife. Yes, there are some detours in our lives that are unexpected and are very painful. But if God is the driver, just sit back and enjoy the ride. Because in the end, God is going to take you from the pit to the palace. The quote of the day, sometimes the negative things in our life is just God working out his master plan. As you go today, go knowing that your steps are ordered by the Lord. God bless you today in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey,